Okay, these are all the basic shortcut keys you need to know in Corel Draw. I'm just gonna run through them very fast so you can see exactly what they do and I can elaborate further on how to use them. Uh, the first shortcut key isn't listed here because it's a double click. If you double click this square button right here, it's going to automatically put a square around your canvas, no matter what size your canvas is. So if I go ahead and I change this to 1080 right here, it's longer. And if I double click the square, it's gonna put a uh, square around my canvas. Okay, the next shortcut key is P. P automatically aligns an object horizontally and vertically to the canvas. So if I have a circle right there, let's give it some color so you can see. And I select a circle and I press P, it automatically goes to the center of my canvas no matter where it is on screen. The next shortcut is C. So if I have multiple objects, it's going to align everything horizontally to the last object I select. Okay, so I have all of these red circles selected and I select the blue last by shift clicking. And if I press C, it's gonna align everything horizontally. Okay, no matter where it's at. I'll give you a better visualization of it right here. So if I select all of these reds by shift clicking and then I select the blue last and I press C, it's gonna align everything horizontally. Now, the next one is E and that is everything vertically. Okay, so if I have all this and I select all the reds again and I select the blue last, if I press E, everything is now aligned vertically. Keep in mind, it's whatever item you select last. So if I select, let's go ahead and change the color of these. If, if I select the blues and the greens, and then I select this red circle last and I press C, everything's gonna go to the center of the red circle. Next is T, okay? So if I have all of these objects right here and I highlight all of them and I press T, it's gonna align everything to the top. It, it did it to the, to the blue because if you select everything at once, it's gonna align everything to the biggest object you have. If I click both of these and I select the blue circle last and I press T, it's gonna to go to the top of the blue circle. If I press B, it's gonna to go to the bottom of the blue circle. If I press L, it's gonna to go to the left of the blue circle. And if I press R, it's gonna to go to the right of the blue circle. This is very useful with text because if you have multiple lines of text that are broken apart like this and they're all scattered everywhere like this, um, you don't want to be like eyeballing it to make sure it's all aligned like that. You can just highlight all of them, press R, and then they're all aligned. All right, now we're on to W. W is welding. So if we have two objects like this, and I highlight one, and also highlight the other, get rid of that. If I highlight both of them, and I press W, it's going to weld the first object I selected to the second object I selected, okay? So W, so it should turn pink. Boom, just like that. All right, and it basically uh, combines both objects together. I have another video on that that goes more in depth into welding, but W is the shortcut key. If you don't already have that, you can program that. Again, watch my welding video. The next one is the simplify uh, is S. So if I have both of them selected, it doesn't matter which one I choose first or second, it matters what layer the objects are on. So since the yellow object is on top of the pink object, that's what's gonna be simplified. Okay, so for example, if I highlight both of them and I press S, now it's simplified just like that. Let's go back. Now, if I have the pink on top of the yellow, just like this, and I press S, now the yellow is cut out. Okay, so uh, S can also be programmed to simplify. If you don't have that, go do that. I also have a video for simplification. The next shortcut is Control G. All right, let's get a stupid little shirt right here. And let's go ahead and weld that together. Let's say this is your shirt. And let's say you have a cool little design going on in your shirt. <laughs> there's your design right there all right and you want 
you want this design to be selected anytime you select a shirt. So see, I select a shirt and I'm trying to move my shirt around, but the, the design's not going with it. What I can do is I can select the design and select the shirt and press control G. This groups them together. And so anytime I select the shirt, it automatically selects everything within that group. Okay, the next shortcut is control U, which is ungroup. Okay, so I have a group right here. If I press control U, it automatically ungroups them. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Now the next thing is shift A. These are more advanced shortcuts that uh, most people don't know, but they are extremely, extremely useful. And you need to know these to be very fast at curl. If I have multiple objects like this, and I want the spacing to be the same between all of them, all I have to do is press shift A. Now this is gonna space everything vertic uh, yeah, vertically, okay? So shift A, now everything has the same space. Let's press C so you can actually see the, the spacing between them. It creates the same spacing between each object, okay? Now if I do this and go down, now if I press C to center them, and then shift A again, it's gonna space them out evenly. Now shift P is the same exact thing, but horizontally, just like this. And let's press E. There we go. And now you see the spacing is different right here. And like, I'm not, I don't want to eyeball it and do that. So I'm going to highlight all of it and press shift P. And now it spaces it evenly. The next shortcut is control K. So with this text right here, you see how all of it is uh, together. It's all one big piece of text. If I press control K, it's going to break them apart. So now they're all individualized. It breaks it apart by lines, then it breaks it apart by spaces, then by characters. They're all lines of text. Now if I break them apart, there's it breaks it into each separate line. Now these have spaces in them, these control K's, control L. So if I press control K on this one, it's gonna break it apart into individual words. Now, if I go even further than that and I press control K again, it's going to break it up into individual letters, just like that. Control L puts them together. It combines them. So if I have all these moved around, it's spacing and I'm like, man, I want all of these to be combined together. Let's select all of them in the order that you want to combine them. Okay. So if I select K R L T C and press control L, it does K-R-L-T-C, just like that. Let's go back. So I'm gonna do it in the order I want, just like that, Control L, and now it's combined. It keeps the spacing involved uh, the same as the original. Okay, so there's that. And uh, that's pretty much all the shortcuts you need to know to master the basics of CorelDRAW. Thanks for watching.